Hello again, Kingston Town Administrator Keith Hickey with the latest edition of This Week in Kingston for the week ending uh, August 26, 2022. Uh, finally got some much needed rain, uh, two or three in inches over the past week or so, so that's great news. Um, hopefully some of the drug conditions start going away. Uh, obviously a lot still going on in town. Um, had a selectman's meeting last night where we spent the majority of the time talking about uh, the speed limit on Main Street and whether or not to remove the regulatory uh, uh, dis distinction and regulation on Main Street uh, for the speed limit of 35 and, and what that meant. Um, a lot of uh, testimony given by residents of, the, of, of, uh, of Main Street about their concerns and their experiences uh, living on Main Street for periods of time. Uh, it's not an easy issue to address and, and resolve. Um, obviously, Main Street is a busy road. Um, with uh, a variety of vehicles that, uh, that travel it. Um, one of the challenges we have uh, at the town is because it's a state numbered road, um, we can't, the, the town can't restrict uh, vehicle, types of vehicles and things of that nature on the roadway. So we can't restrict large trucks or, or other types of vehicles uh, from traveling on the roadway, which uh, might address some of the concerns of, of some of the neighborhood um, there are certainly people who speed on that road, no question about that. Um, however, the lion's share of people are going between uh, uh, 40 miles an hour or slower. So um, we're trying to do what's what's in the best interest of, of the, the neighborhood as well as the best interest of, of the community as a whole. Um, sometimes it's tough to reconcile those, those two issues, but we'll uh, continue to try to work on those. The board did vote last night not to... Um, notify the state to remove the regulatory speed limit. So that speed limit on Main Street, at least for this at this point, is going to remain at 35 miles an hour. Um, and we'll see uh, how things progress from there. Uh, also, uh, some items that went on last night at the Board of Selectmen meeting. Um, we had uh, our hazardous mitigation plan. Uh, town hazardous mitigation plan has been updated and approved. Uh, that allows us to apply for a variety of FEMA-related funds uh, which is helpful for us uh, for grants and things of that nature. We uh, uh, promoted a uh, couple of individuals in the water and sewer department and hired three new employees in the, in the uh, streets, trees, and parks department. Um, our streets, trees, and parks superintendent also was in last evening and requested the board increase the uh, winter maintenance hourly rates for our contracted pluck, uh, tra, tra, pluck, excuse me, truck plow drivers. Uh, which they supported. So we're we're uh, trying very hard to recruit some uh, some winter winter plow drivers uh, and their equipment to come to work for the town for the winter to plow snow. Um, we're finding, like a lot of positions, the short the shortages all over the state uh, and region for positions like this. So we're just trying to be a little more um, competitive with the wages that we're offering uh, compared to some of the other area communities. Um, one of the other items that was discussed last evening at a little bit of length was um, whether or not to re to have the board send a letter to Mass DEP uh, removing uh, the uh, support uh, on the Greenway uh, Reclamation Project on 48 Marion Drive. Uh, as I think a lot of people know at this point, there's... Uh, been some uh, gravel excavation out there, and and then some some fill that's been that's been replacing it, that's been going on now for a number of years. Um, what was proposed to the board back in uh, 2006 or so uh, by the property owner, uh, and what's gone on uh, in the interim uh, are a little bit different um, in in the activity. So uh, the the board has decided that. Um, they want to revoke uh, Kingston's letter of support that was issued uh, by a prior board of selectmen. So I'll be drafting a letter uh, for the, on the board's behalf to send off to Mass DEP. Uh, I've got some meetings, a uh, meeting with Mass DEP on uh, on Thursday, the twenty fifth, um, to have some additional discussions on what's going on on the property and and just trying to make sure that the property owner is um, operating. Uh, in a manner that's consistent with the approvals that Mass DEP provided to them. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge off and on uh, for them to do that.
something happening on Saturday, um, the 27th. Uh, early voting at the uh, the townhouse will will be occurring. So if people are interested in coming in uh, between the twenty Saturday the twenty seventh um, and September second, and want to come in and, and vote early rather than going to the polls, you should, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, just go to the town clerk's office and they'll give you a ballot to get that squared away. Um, we are um, um, also, if, if people are aware, obviously they should have gotten their information from our uh, electrical provider, uh, electricity provider, letting letting everybody know what the new rates are. Again, pretty significant increase in rates. Uh, we're doing the best we can to try to modify that and and, and minimize any any potential increases. But right now, with the the market the way it is, this is the best we could do, unfortunately. Um, and uh, one other item, I just wanted to make people aware of. If you're interested in serving. Uh, on the library, on the library board of trustees, there's a position open the, on the board of trustees. Um, if you're interested at all, please uh, send an email to uh, either myself or the library director, letting them know that you're interested in serving in that position, and uh, you'll be interviewed by the library trustees and the board of selectmen um, to uh, fill the position. We also have a variety of other positions, uh, appointed positions that are open. Um, including uh, we're going to have a couple of uh, resignations on the recreation commission as well. So um, in dire need of some, some uh, volunteers, if you're interested in, in serving, uh, there's a list of uh, open positions on the website. I urge you to take a look at that. And if you have an interest in serving, we'd love to have you do that. Um, moving forward, uh, obviously next week uh, is the start of school. Uh, hard to believe summer is already just about over, uh, but uh, you'll start seeing buses uh, out again and and kids walking to school and riding their bikes to school things of that nature so just urge everybody to please uh, uh, be careful and be sensitive to the fact that uh, that there'll be kids out uh, later next week uh, on the roads uh, headed back to school so uh, if you have any questions or or thoughts on on the school situation you're, you certainly go to the uh, uh, Silver Lake uh, school website and uh, and all the information you need is is on that website or um, certainly the, the phone number is there as well. You give them a call. So uh, with that, I want to thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you again next week. Have a safe and happy uh, Labor Day weekend.